Welcome to Experience the Groove to Improve Your Life channel, where you'll learn how to exercise your mind, stimulate your body, and feed your soul. I'm Joey O'Dowdy, aka Dr. Dancer, your host, and I want to thank you guys for watching all my videos, for your likes, subscribes, and comments. No, as usual, I'll answer each and every one. So please keep them coming. Let me ask you this. Why be stuck living with the old when you can create a new you? And it starts with your ability to be able to activate, move, let go, and live your best life on the groove. Not sure how? Well, I have seven tips that'll help. We covered the first three tips in the last video. And this video has more tips four through seven. Along with a few of my own personal stories too. Ready, set, groove, let's get at it. Next, the character groove. Groove can be explained in several ways, such as the voice inside, the subconscious mind, a spiritual guide, a mentor, someone like the Wizard of Oz, the voice of good reason, driven not by darkness, but light. And is there, not only during the high points of your life, but also during your lowest moments. And we've all had those. Tip number four, expect the unexpected. Even if your situation appears to be a bit rough, rocky, or feels quite thorny, don't give up. You've made it this far. Don't forget, help is often closer than you think. You'll miss it if you give up. So never give up. I believe what you're looking for is also looking for you. This leads to tip number five. Switch things up. If you don't, you might get stuck in a funk yourself. Remember, things aren't the way they used to be. Tip six. Go where your money will flow. Let me, now let me really talk about this. If your coins are a little low, coins meaning money, don't be prudish. Go to that food bank, it's free, and save them coins for something else. And stop trying to shop at Macy's with Target dollars. Target's Target, which is a good thing. <laughs> so it's an urban term, Target, <laughs> which means Target. Remember this. Nifty can be thrifty, meaning visit a couple of thrift stores if need be. They can be a treasure trove for many, but you'll never reap the rewards if you don't step in and visit. I, I, let me share a story with you about this, about that particular nifty can be thrifty. There was a time in my life when my coins were a bit low and I really needed a new handbag. And um, so I said, you know what? I'm going to go to the thrift store because I heard they have some really unique things there. Different and unique things you can find, you know, random things that are unique. So I went to this one thrift store and I know how people feel about thrift stores. Some people say, well, they smell, and uh, we don't, you don't know where the clothes have been, so you, you, know, you, don't, even want, you don't want to buy the clothes and try to put them on because you don't know where they've been, and the shoes or whatever. But you can also find a lot of new items here at thrift stores. Uh, so I went there looking for my handbag, and something said to me, there we go with that voice inside, said to me, go to the back of the store. So I went to the back of the store, and I saw this red, beautiful red leather handbag. I was like, oh my 
goodness, look at that bag. It was beautiful. It had the two big handles on the side. You can just prop it up on your shoulders. I love large handles. I can prop it up on my, on my shoulder with the bags that I carry. So I looked in the back of the store, let me to see the bag in the back. And I said, wait a minute. <laughs> this bag is so beautiful. It has to be at least two or three hundred dollars. And I said, you know what? I don't have that to spend on this bag right now. But I said, okay, well, let me just go and look at it anyway and search inside. And it was really beautiful. Leather handbag. And I turned the price tag over. And can you imagine how much it was? $50, $60 possibly at a thrift store because it's normally discounted? Well, to my disbelief at the moment, it was $5. I walked away with a beautiful leather handbag, red at that, red leather handbag for five dollars. But this would have never happened if I had not listened to what all the people say about those thrift stores and step in there and find it for myself. So I mean, nifty can be thrifty, and it was for me. And let me tell you, I got nothing but comments about that bag everywhere I went. So, it kind of reminds me of that commercial that I saw, a commercial I saw on television. I was so excited that I couldn't believe that it. it was five bucks. You know, the girl who goes into the department store and her boyfriend is wait, waiting in the car and uh, she sees the receipt and she can't believe it and she goes, start the car! Start the car! She runs out of the store with her handbags. Start the car! Start the car! And Portman is waiting in the car. Start the car! <laughs> That's one of my all-time favorite commercials. I felt the same way when I found that handbag for $5. I was like, I cannot believe I need to hurry up and get out of here before you know, the, the teller or the cashier says, wait a minute, you know, we made a mistake here. <laughs> I thought it was a mistake. But it wasn't because I took a chance and I stepped out faith and step into that store. This leads me to tip seven. Think outside the box. Do things different. Don't just think outside the box. You hear that all the time. It's a cliche. Think outside the box. People say, what does that mean? What does that mean? Do things differently. For example, got no job? Create one. Because like I say, in my new book, which I just so happen to have here. Oh, let me put this down for a minute. The way of my new book, I say. Create one, because you have a talent. A talent like no one else. And you have a skill and a talent that no one else can do. So, I want to read this to you from my new book, which you guys know and I've talked about, I've done videos about it before, but since we're talking about this, I want to take you to uh, chapter seven. Oh wait, chapter nine in my new book, Rise to the Rhythm, Awake at the Feet to Live Your Life's Highest Capabilities. Um, and um, I'm going to read a couple of things. I wasn't going to read this, but now I'm going to read this too. Whistle while, chapter nine, whistle while you work it. Uh -huh. And I didn't want to just write work, because you have to go beyond just work. You've got to learn how to, and you know if you're coming to my channel, you're learning how to work it, okay? <laughs> Shake your money maker. Groove on this. Your money maker isn't below the belt. And we do a lot of shaking our money maker on this channel, but we also learn, like I talked about earlier, how to exercise your mind, stimulate your body, feed your soul, because it's more than just that. Okay, shake your money maker, groove on this. Your money maker isn't below the belt, it's above it. What? No, I'm not tripping. The power to achieve wealth and I'm not talking about a little chunk change, but big bucks aren't in just shaking your rock. It can be for some though. <laughs> some people can make a lot of money doing that, but it's in your head, your thoughts. 
and letting loose one or two good ideas that when brought to fruition can bring you in some mean green. Yes. Now, now you get it? Okay. Let me see you shake your money maker. Tell me. 